Happy Friday to you. Emily Bloom in for Chris Crocker as she enjoys a Friday off. Now, pretty nice conditions as we wrap up the work week, but we're going to see a big shift here over the next 24 hours or so. Starting out with the four things that you need to know. Clouds and showers tonight. You're going to notice that increasing cloud cover here over the next couple of hours. And then we're looking at about a 20% chance for some rain, potentially some snow flurries in the overnight hours. As we head into your Saturday, though, we're going to see the winds picking up even more. What that means is that we're going to have some areas of blowing dust and we could could be looking at rain and potentially some snow flurries once again throughout the early morning to early afternoon hours on your Saturday. There is a winter weather advisory in effect that is for the Cascade Crest, Stevens Pass, Snoqualmie Pass. They're looking at about six to ten more inches of snow over the next 24 hours. And then by Sunday, we are back to mostly sunny skies here in Spokane. Tonight's lows across the region, most of us dropping back down into those 30s. Just the Tri-Cities and Lewiston holding strong in those lower 40s. 35 in Spokane Valley, 38 for those of you in Moses Lake. And as we move into your Saturday, we're looking at a high of 48 degrees, a few degrees cooler than what we experienced today. And with that heavier cloud cover, you're going to notice that shift. Partly sunny skies by the afternoon hours and those winds nice and steady coming out of the west, 15 to 20 miles an hour. Those gusts tomorrow could be up to 30 miles an hour, something that you're going to want to keep in mind. What we've got going on, this cold front is pulling through tonight into tomorrow. On the back side of that is when we're going to see those winds really picking up. We could see some rain, we could see some snow, and those higher elevations also looking at uh, heavier snow, like I mentioned, over the Cascade Crest six to ten more inches. By Sunday though we're back to mostly sunny skies. The only thing that's really going to leave behind is much cooler temperatures. Now as you're making it through your Saturday, 36 degrees as you're waking up, 12 p.m. back to 44 degrees. That's when we could see that rain throughout the day and then 4 p.m. getting into a little bit more sunshine as those clouds begin to break up and getting closer to our high for the day of 48 degrees. Highs across the region, most of us in those 40s for tomorrow, 50 in Wenatchee, 54 in Moses, Moses Lake that is, and 49 in Colville. Planning forecast, I'm pulling this up. I know that you can look at it in your app, but there's a few things that you're gonna wanna really pay attention to. That is going to be those overnight temperatures, Saturday, Sunday, and even into Monday. We're getting back down into the freezing temperatures. We're looking at a hard freeze Sunday morning. So if you've started any kind of gardening, you're gonna wanna cover those plants. Windy conditions for tomorrow. And then by Tuesday, we're back up to 57 degrees and then a little, nice little stretch right there, climbing up to 65 by the tail end of next week. And we're looking at mostly sunny skies for four straight days. That gives you something nice to look forward to as you're making it through the day tomorrow.